All right, Mopar fam. We are at Holly Mo Party in Kentucky. Bowling Green. This is Mo Party 2021. And it is absolutely huge. So this is Saturday morning and last year when I came to this event, which last year was the first one that they did, Friday being yesterday, there was already as many people as there were last year. So now we are Saturday morning and there is lots and lots and lots and lots of people here. A lot more people than last year, that's for sure. Lots more cars, lots more stuff going on. And what we're gonna do, kind of give you a little tour going through the facility here on the golf cart. Just kind of give you a good idea of what Holly Mo Party is all about. In this general area here, you're gonna see lots of show cars. This is what they call the show and shine area. And there is just everything Mopar you can think of to look at around here. Lots and lots of cars. Everything from old school to new school, it's here at Holly Mo Party. I mean, it is just so many cars. And also, for those that don't know, right here at the racetrack, they have a theme park. As you guys probably seen, they got a water park over here, or they got a roller coaster, they got a free fall up there. Oh! There is just lots and lots to do. Some more show and sign. Nice Plymouth Roadrunner right there with the uh, coyote and the Superbird. And 1135 I'm telling you guys, it takes a long time to go through all the grounds here on a golf cart, let alone trying to walk it. And there's still stuff that I haven't even got to to look at. Over here we have the Dodge Thrill Rides. Lots and lots of vendors as well. We got QA1 over here in the house. Holly, of course, is here with a big booth. We got other big dogs like Summit Racing up here. Torque Storm Superchargers is here. And there's uh, the jump car. They're gonna be doing the General Lee jump again. We will also be filming that as well. Then they got the old Roscoe car. take you guys over here to uh, check out the Dodge Thrill Rides a little bit. They are running these Hellcats absolutely ragged, just running them back to back. Some more show shine cars. Lots more trucks here too guys. A lot of Rams, a lot of old Rams, some little red Expresses. There's a lot 
more trucks this year, which I'm glad to see. Last year there wasn't a whole bunch of trucks, but we got a lot more trucks, a lot more Dakotas as well. We got a lot of Dakotas in the house, uh, Boosted Motorsports as well has the Helcota over there as you can see it, which we filmed it also yesterday. And uh, hell yeah, go over here to the thrill rides. So they are sending them out right now. There's a red one going. I mean, these guys are absolutely getting it, man. They are tearing them up. Chargers, challengers, the whole nine, man. They are running them ragged. You can also get out there and take a ride with them. We might try that here later. Driving that car, man, driving it. Alright, so we're gonna continue on down the path here. We'll stop by the Torque Storm Supercharger booth and the Arrington booth. I'm probably going to have you pop your hood too when I stop. Over here on the left side, this is the drag strip over here. They're cleaning it off because we just got a bunch of rain this morning and literally flooded everything out. And this is where uh, Frostbite's hanging out. This is the Torque Storm and Arrington Performance booth. Some of Arrington's cars is here also. Frostbite, chilling out. We just had to dry it all off. <laughs> and uh, here's here's a sneak peek of the manifold, guys. There you go. Holly high ram manifolds on the truck. We had to redo the plumbing a little bit. But that is what's going on. Told you it looks good on there guys. I love that manifold. It looks stellar. Awesome, awesome manifold. Looks so good on the truck. I do not miss the plastic manifold at all. At all. We're going to be running this thing today. Hopefully the rain holds out and we can get some good hits guys. We're going to be running two classes. We're running the uh, True Street class and we're going to be running in the Pro 8th Mile class. John Cope's also here. We'll go see Mr. Haney here in a second. But yeah, as you can see, all my interior is still in the truck. Everything's still in the truck. There we go. Here's uh, some of Torque Storm's displays here. Got the twin kit on display. And they got their black anodized version of the kit. This is some of uh, Arrington and Redline Performance oil line over here as well. They kind of all hang out together. Arrington Performance also has lots of parts, guys, for all the Mopar Hemi stuff. They got stuff for Chargers, Challengers. They got some Ram truck parts as well. 
So definitely check them out on the site. They got some pretty awesome valve covers over here too. Got the Arrington Performance logo on them, anodized black. These will fit pretty much all the Hemis as well. Silver version, which is kind of what's on Frostbite right now. The black ones look look really good. I really like them. I got tons of throttle bodies as well. Lots and lots of stuff, guys. And then this little car is absolutely wicked. This is Arrington's little toy car here. And it is no joke. Look at this. This little car literally has a 392 dropped in the back of it. I mean, <laughs> this is straight out of like Hot Wheels right here. This looks awesome. Velocity stacks on the intake here. Just too cool. Very awesome car. This here is uh, one of Arrington's trucks running a torque storm blower on it. I believe this I believe this guy, he's running a 6.1 manifold. I think it's still a 5.7 though. 545 RFE transmission in this truck as well. Older truck, but it's a nice one. There you go. All right, we're gonna keep on going down. We're going into uh, pretty much this is all staging lanes over here. And way down here is where we parked the trailer and where John Cope is with Mr. Haney. More vendors. I mean, there's just vendors everywhere. Vendors, vendors, vendors. All kinds of stuff. Swap meet stuff, parts, you name it. Edelbrock's here, Comp Cams is up here. Lots of cool stuff. But yeah, hopefully this justifies to you just how many people is up here for Mo Party this year. There is just tons of people. Tons of cars. Mopar heaven, literally. hogging up the road. That Mopar right there sounds a little ornery. This is white lightning. Great flavor though. <laughs> I like it. There's also a bunch of Vipers up here too this year. Got a TRX running.
Got a Hellcat Durango up here running. That guy's running tens. Everybody's getting ready. Starting to dry out. We'll be able to go racing here in a little bit. That is tech in over here and where you get your time slips at the end of the track. This is our setup we got going on. And of course we got Mr. Haney over here. For those that don't know, Mr. Haney is an old Ford pickup truck with a 392 swap Hemi motor course and it's got his 46 re trans trans brake lock up basically the same deal that's in frostbite now and he is up here at mo party with us racing the truck so there you go got you a ford truck with a 392 in it at mo party He calls the truck Mr. Haney and also refers to it as a mofo. <laughs> mofo for Mopar and Ford. Fun truck. We got some video footage of it the other day running. We'll have lots of race footage of it today and Frostbite. And I'm hoping we both get to race each other. So. He's racing in the pro eighth mile class and we're kind of limited to some of the classes because of the trans brake that we both run. So he's doing eighth mile pro and then I'm also going to be running the same class but I will also be running in the true street class which requires a 30, a 30 mile cruise on the street before the racing begins but that is quarter mile racing and they will let me run the trans brake in that class so that is the deal we're running two classes so hell yeah guys stay tuned we'll have some race footage up here soon <laughs> 